Hello party people, it is Will Pimble here. I am thinking that today what I want to do is I want to get started on uh, I want to get started on some of the frame of my cart. You see those uh, you see those red lines there? That's kind of the top down look at the frame. That's the side view look at the frame. That's going to be made out of tubular steel. Not super super stiff tubular steel because there's going to be a whole lot else built around it. So I want to manage weight as I go. But I thought today would be a good time to kind of just get going, chop up a couple of pieces of steel and see if I can just build the basics of that framework before I even go forward with the respiratory system that you can uh, that you can look at um, over there. We put up a video before about that. But I want to put the framework, I want to put this together so that I can start mounting the respiratory system and again doing this kind of top-down build of the cart that, uh, that we talked about yesterday. So I'm just going to get started on that. Mainly what's involved is like chopping up a whole bunch of steel and then doing a little bit of welding. So I'm going to get going with that right now. I just did a little figuring and um, and discovered that if you look, if you kind of look at this with me, um, these, again, these red pieces are the frame here that's going to get made. And then if you look down and you see the different, uh, up here rather, if you look at these bits and pieces, I'm going to need a bunch of 40 inch pieces of steel and 20 inch pieces of steel and a couple of 60 inch pieces of steel along the bottom here. If you do all of the math here, where you end up is you end up with something in the neighborhood of 33 feet of steel uh, that ends up needing to, uh, 33 and change, almost 36 feet of steel that needs to be used to make this cart, right? So what that, I know how much 30 feet of steel weighs and it's pretty darn heavy. And so what I know from this thing right off is that this is gonna be a really heavy cart if I build it the way that I, that I want. Um, so I have to manage that carefully as I go. I have to be careful to use lightweight materials. Now, what you might say is like, nah, lightweight materials, this is the cart, it's gotta be crazy strong. Well, yes, it has to be crazy strong, but also I'm keeping in mind that as I keep building the thing, there's gonna be more and more material that gets added to it and it's all gonna be connected and it's all gonna keep itself strong. If you took, for example, the body panels off of your car, your car would not be anywhere near as strong and rigid as it is with the body panels on. So those super thin pieces of lightweight steel that, hold, that, that are put over the skin of your car, that form the skin of your car, that keeps the car really strong. And so what I'm planning is that I'm gonna use the lightest weight steel that I can for building my frame because I know that I'm gonna build over it and over it and, and it's gonna end up being a super strong thing. If I do it otherwise, it's gonna be like a 1953 Chevy. It's gonna be really big and really bulky and I'll have to build a crazy strong track to support it. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go chop up the, uh, the lightest weight pieces of steel that I've got here in the shop. Oh, curse you. Okay, so here's what happened. I got a little ways with uh, chopping up pieces of steel. I got quite a few and I'll show them to you in a second. But then what happened is this. You see that? That is a divot or a chunk taken out of this blade. And uh, what you don't ever do is you don't ever use a chop saw blade when it's got a chunk taken out of it because this thing gets to spinning very, very fast. And what happens is if you get energy going into the thing, unevenly the the waves of energy will kind of go around it like this if you were to if you were to do the math on this thing you'd see that the waves of energy would go around it like this and boom the the blade will just kind of explode i've i've seen them explode from kind of across the room i've seen them just kind of instantly decompile and it's spectacular and it's fun to watch but you don't want to be anywhere near it when it happens and you don't want anyone else to be anywhere near it when it happens so as soon as you see a little chunk like that in your saw blade, you need to throw this away and go get a new one. I don't have one here in the shop, I just looked around. So I'll get one uh, first thing in the morning and maybe I'll go get it tonight so that I'm ready for tomorrow. Uh, but let me show you where I've gotten to and then we'll just pick up again where we left off. So here's what we've got so far. The cart, keeping this thing in mind, I'll put this up in the corner like right there so you can see it. Keeping this thing in mind, what we've got is we've got the whole cart is 60 inches long, so from the back of the from the back of the passenger to the front of the dragon's nose is 60 inches long. The top part, so the sort of the top of the passenger compartment is going to be about 40 inches long, and so that's going to sit here. This piece 
is going to be about 20 inches high. And then over here as well, about 20 inches high. So it's a, it's a, a good sized thing. Let me see if I can balance it. Huh? Oh. All right, so you'll have to imagine that. Oh, kind of like that. So that's the cross section of the cart. Yeah, that's the cross section of the cart. So it's, as you can see, it's a big cart. And I want, that's why I want to make it out of lightweight materials because we're going to build a whole dragon around this thing. And, uh, and when it's done, it's, I gotta, I gotta have the whole cart come in at like under, I'm going to say 80 pounds, right? So maybe 90 pounds, but it needs to be, it needs to be pretty light. So I've got a fair number of pieces here, but not quite as many as I had hoped on account of the fact that I destroyed my, uh, I destroyed my saw during the process. One of the reasons that my videos are getting a little bit shorter on the Coaster Dad project is that what I found is people kind of watch the first part of it and then they don't get to the last part of it. And so I feel like I'm kind of wasting some of the, some of the message here. And so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to break the videos into smaller sections like five minutes, six minute increments so that if you want to watch 15 or 20 minutes, it'll still be there. You just click to the next video. That's one reason that I'm trying to shorten them up and publish more of them. I'm trying to do like at least Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, do five videos a week. And that's, that's going to start to come true. And I think, I think from the feedback I've gotten from you guys, I think that's, that's probably a good way to do it. If you have a better or another idea, please comment below and tell me. That's one reason. The second reason is Lyle and I and Ellie and a couple of other kids, we've gotten really busy with another YouTube channel called Proto Palette. And here is the link for Proto Palette. It's right there. So if you go to youtube.com slash Proto Palette, you can see whenever I talk about Proto Palette or Arduino or microcontroller and using those things as part of the roller coaster, that's where it's all happening from. Proto Palette is my company, along with my friends and my family. We're building this thing to teach kids and some grown-ups, I would imagine, how to do awesome things with electronics, because everything cool comes from software and electronics and math and science, right? Everything cool. So if you would be kind enough to support the Proto Palette channel as well, that would be awesome. It would really help. And uh, that's the other reason. So, we're, so now we're like managing two channels and we're trying to publish along the same schedule as we do um, all the roller coaster stuff. So that's the scoop. Thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I am Will Pemble. Please like, please subscribe, please share, please do all of those things that help keep it going. And, uh, and I will see you soon.